just let it happen. You talked about a few different options that you have with the kick. So you can keep them very neutral, like this, all right? Not even really a kick. We're just letting our foot come off the ground. But you also have different ways you can style these kicks. We use hitch kicks. And you can do kick. And you can do that on either kick. And we can also do it independently of one another. I can decide to do hitch kicks without Christian leading them. Similarly, if he wants to do hitch kicks, I don't have to do them. It should keep the feeling of the basic relatively similar. We can also do double kicks, looks like this, shoot, then you can kick. It's much more uh, common and I think it feels better with our outside kick. Shoot, ba do ha, shoot, ba do ha, ha, shoot, ba do ha, shoot, ba do ha. We, uh, and similarly to the hitch kicks, it does not have to be led. It's something that we can just choose as an individual styling. We then took this basic into kick outs, looks like this. We'll do a basic first, then we'll do the prep. We go basic kick, shoot, ba da ha, then we'll take a we talked about keeping these triples right underneath our body and really using the rotation. If you also pay attention to this handhold, we're allowing it to really go back and forth to allow us to open up and do this rotation. Um, and in contrast to our, our Charleston kickouts, we can really use that rotation and make it feel nice and really emphasize it, which hopefully. Uh, you got from that little demonstration. Uh, to close this off, we'll just have leaders bring their hand around the followers back. We want to come back in, hop, shoot, ba do, hop, shoot, ba do, hop. Instead of connecting with the hip, hop, and we'll just put our foot on the ground for our next triple step. Last point about the kickouts is that we want to maintain kind of a consistent posture. So when we do our forward kick here, we have our bodies kind of out over our feet. We keep that the same all the way through. We're not wasting any time doing big posture shifts and stuff like that. Uh, we then did fall off the log. It looks like this. Let's do it this way. We'll do a basic kick. We're going to use same entrance that we used for kick outs to get in the ball the logs. We'll go triple kick. Right. And triple step. step. Cross. Cross step. Switch, switch. Cross step. Switch, switch. Cross step. And we can exit after any cross step, like so. Cross step. And shoot, 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 Major points about the fall off the loft, we want to make sure that this is a static position. So leaders, we encourage you to move away from the followers a little bit on this triple step. And also to really confidently hit this position. And once we get our footwork going, we want to make sure that this changes as little as possible until we get to our exit and we lead this out, triple, kick, ba We then did inside crosses. Footwork was exactly the same, we're just changing our orientation. We also changed our frame, so we go palm to palm here and kind of lift everything up. And we stay pretty solid, we're both engaging our muscles and holding our, ourselves together. So it looks like this, we'll go basic kick, shoot, but up, pop, then we'll triple kick, triple and across. Switch, switch, cross, switch, switch, cross, and across, and triple, kick, shoot, and pop. So just, um, like we build the contrast of, of bringing all of this up, going into our inside crosses. After our last cross step, cross step, we're really going to orient ourselves towards the ground on that triple and drop it all down to exit our inside crosses. When we finish with sliding doors, which look like this, we'll show it. We'll do a basic hop, shoot, ba da, hop. We use any basic for the leaders to reach up and grab the followers' left hand. Then on any inside kick, we'll triple step, scratch, triple kick, triple kick, triple kick. We talked about having a, a nice relaxed connection with our fingers here so that as we move by each other, these hands can kind of swivel. And we don't want to grip each other because then our arms will get into weird shapes. Uh, so we keep that nice and relaxed. We create just enough stretch to uh, allow us Like this. We'll go stretch, shoot, buddy, hop, shoot, buddy.
do. Stop myself here. Over. We'll do pack. And then we're right back in our basin. Um, Christian showed an alternate entrance, which was to, instead of holding on the side here, we can extend that stretch a little bit. Shoot, yep, so you can pack. emphasize this stretch even a little bit more by disconnecting here. Get into it that way. And here's a bonus exit for you. Instead of exiting on the same side that we started, we're going to go the other way. But there's a, a fun little variation for you. Yep. Go out, check out all the videos, watch John Pedrosian dance, um, mm -hmm. learn about.